headphones and there's one that I use more than any of the others and there's no real reason as to why I do that it's literally just because it's usually on my desk so it's the first one that I pick up and that's the Sennheiser MKE 200 but in this video I want to talk about that it's really windy today I want to talk about that and the Rode Video Mic Go 2 because those two microphones are awesome they're both under $100 or round about $100 and I just haven't actually heard the difference between the two and so It'd be great to see how they differ in terms of audio quality if one's better than the other because then i'll use the other one over the other one if that makes sense so yeah let's see also this video is sponsored by film convert i'll start off with the sennheiser mk200 because that's what i've got on the camera at the moment and in the box you get the microphone with two cables you get a trs cable and a trrs cable so it means that you can use it with not just the camera but also your smartphone and it comes with a fluffy windshield as well so i've got that attached at the moment because it's a really windy day today so it's actually going to be quite useful to hear how well it's cutting out the audio so one of the things that i love about this microphone in particular is the fact that it's so small and one of the reasons why it is also got why it has such a small form factor is because the shock mount is inside the microphone so that's one of the reasons i really like this and probably one of the reasons why i tend to go for it over any of any other microphone because it is so small so next i'm going to attach the rode video mic go to and then you can hear what that sounds like and i'll tell you a bit about that as well So as I said, the sponsor of this video is Film Convert, and I've been using Film Convert Nitrate for a good few years now. I pretty much use it on every single video. And the great thing about Film Convert Nitrate is that you can colour correct and colour grade your footage all in the Film Convert Nitrate plugin. And it is essentially a film emulation suite, which gives you access to lots of different film stocks so you can create a really classic film look to your footage, just basically taking away that digital look. And it's just perfect for colour correcting and colour grading. The other plugin that Film Convert has is one called Cinematch, and this is perfect if you're shooting with a multi-camera setup and you're not using cameras which are identical. It basically allows you to match both cameras really quickly and it takes a lot of the manual work out of doing it without using Cinematch. So that's a really great plugin to use if you're shooting with a multi-camera setup. It has various different camera packs, so if you also wanted to just emulate a certain look from a different camera, then that's something that you can also do with Cinematch. I've dropped a link in the description so that you can check out Film Convert and Cinematch in more detail. And if you use the code Tamara G, you'll get a 10% discount as well. So I've now switched over to the Rode Video Mic Go 2, and that's the audio that you're hearing at the moment so in terms of this microphone i won't go into loads of detail because i did do a video about this specific microphone a little while ago and so i'll tell you a little bit about it so one of the good things about this microphone and why i wanted to get it in the first place was the fact that two seconds the fact that i liked the idea of it being pretty much an all round microphone so you can use it for podcasting you can use it for your smartphone you can use it for putting on your camera and vlogging and use it in a studio there's so many different ways that you can actually use it and if using it on your smartphone it actually comes with a mobile app something i didn't mention in the last video so you can actually control things like the levels the high pass filter the pad through the Rode Central app, which is really useful, but it doesn't carry across to the actual microphone. So if you change anything in the app on the mobile, then it doesn't necessarily, it won't affect the microphone when you plug it into a camera. So that's a little bit strange, but I can kind of see why, I guess. But yeah, this is what the audio sounds like from the Rode video mic go to. One of the things I will say is the, the microphone is under $100, but it doesn't come with the furry windshield. So 
once you buy the furry windshield it kind of puts it up a little bit and the furry windshield is only about 25 pounds 27 pounds so it's not that expensive but it's just something to factor in that it's not part of the actual price and the actual bundle of the microphone so with the microphone you get the microphone itself you get a foam windshield and the cradle that it comes in as well but if you want to use the microphone for your smartphone or as a podcasting mic or anything like that then you have to buy a separate USB-C cable um, but the Sennheiser MKE come, already comes with the necessary cable that you would need for your phone so there are a few extras that you would have to buy for the video mic go to but it's still a decent microphone and this is the audio that you can hear from it now so I don't know what the difference is between the two. I haven't actually put them both side by side yet. So you can already hear what the difference is and hear which one you prefer. And like I said, it's a really windy day and I have got the furry windshield on the road video I might go to. So hopefully it's cutting out a lot of the wind. I'm gonna head inside so that you can hear how the audio sounds indoors. And my office isn't treated, so I'm gonna try and be as close to the mics as possible, but that's just something to bear in mind. So I've come into my office now, and as I mentioned previously, my office isn't treated, so bear that in mind as you're listening to the audio, because it could sound better. Um, I've got both microphones connected, so I'm going to switch between both of them so that you can hear the difference side by side whilst I'm talking. And one of the things I forgot to mention was the fact that both microphones use the power from the camera, so you don't have to charge them up, you don't have to worry about putting batteries in or anything like that, they will just charge up from the camera. Uh, they'll power from the camera so it's really good if you're on the go and like me you forget to charge your microphones occasionally so really really useful that's actually genuinely surprised me i wasn't expecting the road to sound that much better than the sennheiser mk200 and the sennheiser mk200 still sounds good but the road i think sounds better it's got a deeper richer tone to it so yeah, wasn't actually expecting that. And I think I might end up using the Rode Go 2. Rode Video might go to more than the Sennheiser MKE 200 now. Maybe that one will just live on my desk instead. So hopefully that answered your question. If you wanted to know the difference between the Sennheiser MKE 200 and the Rode Video might go to, and hopefully you've decided which one you prefer. If you found the video useful, do give it a like because it does help the channel. Thank you to today's sponsor, which was Film Convert, for sponsoring this video. Subscribe to see more videos. I've got a couple more videos about other microphones coming out soon. So do check those out when they're out. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.